We have almost 2,000 of you in the audience. We're going to store for a great couple of days. We've already had some amazing things go on, haven't we? I mean, it's been great so far. I hope you're enjoying New Orleans. There's a New Orleans for everyone, right? There's the history New Orleans. There's the foodie New Orleans. There's the Bourbon Street New Orleans. I've heard about it. It's great to have all of you here. What does success look like for this event today? Here's what I think it is. There's a few things we want to do, and if you're on the workplace, as I hope all of you are, uh, my team, we made a silly video where we tried to explain this to all of you. Did anybody see that? We did a silly video where we explained it to you. Thank you for the three fans I have. <laughs> and what we talked about were a few things. One is we want to give you great content. We could just give you shrimp and drinks for two days and you might be happy. But we also want to give you great content. We want to give you things today and tomorrow that will help you be more successful. To help you understand this company better. Things, at least one or two things that will stick in your head and be like, now I have something additional or something I want to focus on. We also want to make sure we give you lots of opportunities for engagement. Engagement is so important. We love being in the world, we love being in the workplace, but every once in a while you just want to look at someone and have a conversation. And we want to give you a chance to get referrals while you're here. We want to give you a chance to meet agents that are just like you that live in another part of the country or someone across the street you've never met and share things. So we'll give you lots of opportunities. You had an opportunity last night. You had a chance at Rebar. You're going to have an amazing chance tonight. We have breakouts tomorrow. All sorts of ways for you to engage. Then there's one more thing I think is kind of important. I think fun is important. We're going to have fun, right? We had fun last night. We're going to have fun today. We have some surprises for you that totally did not work in rehearsal. Let me just tell you. So, you know, we're all family here, so I'll be as surprised as you are. Okay? So, let's talk about, first of all, what has already happened. <coughs> Carrie Oki was just crazy. It feels to me that there's like four different Sandras here. There's the Humanitarian of the Year Sandra. There's the DJ Sandra. There's the Sandra Club video. We've got any Sandra you need, we have one. Okay? Then, yesterday morning, I have to tell you, when we were working on this fun run, we thought, that's a good idea, and we'll raise some money, but no one's really going to show up at 6 a.m. We'll just get the money for it. You were all there. Congratulations. <laughs> And then yesterday, Ari Barkham. Who went to Ari Barkham? There were more people at Ari Barkham than at EXPCon last year for Lauderdale. And that was our pre-day event. It was super exciting. It was totally unstructured and crazy, which is why Glenn was in charge of it and not me. Okay? And then last night, the awards dinner. Congratulations to everybody in this room. You all do things every day that make dreams come true for consumers. So whether you do videos, or you uh, are rewarded for production, or you're just here because you want to get better, you're all award winners. Uh, my mic, right? Okay. Let's talk about your lanterns just for a second. We print this agenda, and maybe you look at it, maybe you don't. But let's go through what they need. If you have an orange lanyard, that probably means you are a current EXP Realty agent. Okay. Our board of directors here, they have a blue lanyard, so they're the ones most likely to buy you a drink. So look for blue. <laughs> okay. Our staff has green lanyards on, so if the crew let me wear a lanyard, mine would be green. And then our local uh, brokerage operation folks are SABs, ASABs, some other acronyms I'm not allowed to say out loud. That's a joke. They have red, okay? We want you to find each other. So as you're walking around the room, find those people. We also have some other folks here that we should probably all say how happy we are, right? We have some people that are thinking about joining EXP here. Are we glad they're here? some people that think this is our shareholders meeting and they're investors and they want to see what's going on. We're happy to have them here as well. So we have lots of people here. And again, remember the 
engagement part, engage with people and meet them. Okay, another way you can engage, and a lot of you already did this yesterday, but this is something we really believe is important, is giving some opportunity for kind of some personalized help or just to ask a, a simple question. And that's what EXP World Live, EXP World Live, that's what that is, just across from us here. And we have staff that we have flown in just to help all of you, okay? If you want to get better on enterprise, if you've never been an enterprise, what is it? I know I got to have an email somewhere about enterprise. Go talk to that. Okay? You probably know enterprise, I hope you do. Our brand new explore guide, which so many of you have given us so many unbelievable gracious comments about, and Kimberly will be talking about, about later. If you're like, tell me where I can find this on the explore guide, Brad Anderson's out there waiting if he wants to help you. Okay? EXP World. You're like, can someone just tell me how, tell me how to run in the world? I just want to run. <laughs> can someone tell me how to wave? You know, whenever I go into the world, I, I just want to kick the soccer ball one time in my life. Okay? That and other things. How do I go into a meeting room? All those things. Okay? We have a team out there that can uh, help you uh, with that. Also, tech support. We all can use tech support all the time. So they can help you too. And then finally, Workplace, which has taken this company by storm as another great way to communicate. And we have some special guests later that will fill you in more about some new things in Workplace. But I know there's some of you who are like, you know, I went to Workplace once, and now I get 360 notifications a day. <laughs> right? You're like, I like Workplace, but can someone just explain that to me? My phone, the battery is drained by 10 a.m. because of Workplace. We can help you with that, okay? Brian Reese is out there. If you don't have a profile in the workplace, every once in a while I go to the workplace and I see like one of you don't have a photo in there and I'm like, come on. I put, I put something in there, why can't I see who you are? So go over and uh, see the workplace folks. Okay, um, who's downloaded the app for this event? Is that a good idea? Uh, all right. Download the app. That's all I'm going to say. All right, let's talk about social for a second. Social media. Anything we say and do on this stage, is free for the world. If you see something you like on one of these slides, take a picture of it. Share it with your friends. A lot of you have been sharing things already. From time to time, you will see on these big screens, not me, you'll be seeing some of the social things that are going on. Use the hashtag EXP Realty Problem. We all know that hashtag by now, right? Use that hashtag. Do it on Twitter. Do it on Facebook. Do it on Instagram. If you do it on any of those places, we may pick it up and show it on these big streets right here. But here's my word of warning I always like to give all of you. When you put something on social media, everybody sees it. Your potential clients see it. Your current clients see it. Your industry peers see it. So be wise what you put on there, but show the experience to others. Don't you think other, I don't know, do you think other agents would like to know what's going on here? Do you think they might think I want to be here next year? Right? So put a variety of things, just don't put yourself holding drinks, that's one thing you can show. But show things on the stage, show things on the screen. Alright, one of my favorite things about uh, EXPCon is we give you the chance to get lots of pins. We want to see all of you wearing pins, we want to hear you jingle jangling as you walk up and down the hallways. So let me tell you how you get these pins, okay? Did you know, all of you that walked right by those photographers when you came in this morning, did you know it was free? Did you know if you have a new headshot taken, you can then have that headshot, we'll send you a link next week and you can do whatever you want with it. You can put, use that in the EXP Marketing Center, you can put it on your business card, you can use it for your personal holiday card, we don't care and we don't judge. But have that picture taken and when you do, we will give you one of those pins. When you visit EXP World Live and see our team over there, they will give you a pin. When you meet your state or provincial broker, when you walk up to them and you say, oh my gosh, we've never seen each other in person, they will give you a pin. Do you guys want pins? You want to get these pins. And if you go to our super fantastic EFP referral speed meeting group, that's they have to say, it's super fast. When you go to that this afternoon, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, everybody gets a pin. There's one I didn't mention though, and it's perhaps my favorite, it's the staff photo pin. Remember I said all of us on staff, there aren't that many of us here, so you got to look carefully for the green lanterns. Our job is to talk to you. 
to meet you, and we want you to take a picture with us and then put it on Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag EXP Realty Proud. And I guess the best way to explain this, I think I can do this, I'm not sure. Um, you guys have, can I walk in the crowd? Is there like a microphone or, I don't know if I can walk with this. You guys have a handheld? Back there, I'm just gonna walk down. Oh, and then someone magically appears. Thank you, Josh. So here, I'm gonna, we're gonna do a little demo on how you get a pin because it's complicated. And I wanna make sure you do it right. So I'm gonna look for someone here. Oh, no, let me look, no, let me look, let me look, let me look. That's the name of your first I'm sorry. Is um, yeah. you on social media? Yes. You ready? Right? Okay, stand up and you look great. You're safe. And just go to the next stage. Stand in front of 2,000 people and turn into the nervous. Who else cares on social media? Chris, do you have a phone with you? All right, good phone, Chris. Is it, do you like that? That's, if you like that, I can give you the microphone and I can just sit and enjoy the rest of the show. So, go on down there. So, we have our two people that are going to get a staff photo. Now I need to find the three. Somebody, anybody on the staff? Staff, 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 or some... Green, staff, come on up. Come on up, come on up. You look like you're important. Come on up. <laughs> Come on, here in the middle a little bit. We don't want to hide behind the podium. All right, first, um, Chris. Chris, tell us about yourself. How long have you been with the XP and where are you based? Uh, Mid July, and I am based in the Greater Charlotte area, licensed in North and South Carolina. You know, the West of I settled for investment real estate. So just July, you know, it's great. Congratulations, thanks for being with us. And the tall guy, uh, tall Steve mm -hmm. Robert, and where you're from, and how long have you been with us? Rosser, just north of Dallas, Texas, and you know, I joined last week, got my login on. Alright, so the idea is, you casually meet a staff member, and you say, hey, can I have a picture taken with you? Your badge is back, you look familiar, your badge is backwards. <laughs> you want to the band? I can't remember Tell us uh, who you are and what you do. Still Mary Frances Coleman, I think, this morning. I don't remember. Great. Mary Frances, I see all. Thank you for being our person up here. So we're going to practice, guys. So first, Chris, do you have your phone? Okay. Stand, uh, get, I'm going to do a selfie. I think you stand together. Take that picture. There you go. Let's see it. I don't know. Oh, see? This. See how different. Okay, and then the next part, the next part you have a pin. Okay, then you give one of your pins, and you say thank you for the pin, and now I'm going to go post this on Twitter. Okay, with the hashtag is the real too proud. Okay, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> and, and what they're going to do is they're going to go sit down, they're going to post it on Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag EHP Realty Proud and where their pins from. Thank you guys all very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. All right, real quickly, it's in your agenda. Here's what's coming up next. Um, in just a little bit, Scott Petronas, our Chief Product and Technology Officer, will boldly go where no one has gone before. But before that, Mary Francis will be back to walk us through some things that are also happening today and tomorrow. We have this amazing thing on the agenda that's just called This Week's Top 50. And I don't know what that is. It's not Casey Kasem, it's something even better. <laughs> My friend Jay Thompson, retired from the XP, but still has his hands in all sorts of things. We'll lead a great panel with some of you on stage talking about how you're growing your business, which we think is important. Kimberly Ryan will be up here this morning talking about agent experience, and the brokerage operations team will be up here. And we have lots of surprises, as I said. None of them worked out in rehearsal, so you're all with me on Let's see what happens. We think it's going to be pretty good. So with that, it is my privilege and honor to introduce our first speaker. He's ultimately probably the reason <laughs> all of us are in this room today. 
He is a visionary, he is the founder, he is the CEO. Give it up for Glenn Sanford. Very, you know, really very 
minor amount of, of what we'll refer to as margin, but, um, but that creates an opportunity for everybody in this room to, to build really, really interesting businesses that don't exist anywhere else. So really, you know, this is something that I think about all the time. It's all the conversations that we have, and, and, and literally it's the thing that, that drives us all the, uh, drives us. What I'm most proud of this last year, I mean, if, in terms of award, this was an amazing award we got this last year. You know, best places to work in 2018. This is, this is, this is, this is huge. The, the idea that we all um, are part of one of the best places to work in, in America, according to Glassdoor. And Glassdoor is a, is a great, like, it's a, it's a predictor of future success. Companies that, that rank here continue to do well. Uh, because they, they build things not for, for you know, making the most quote-unquote money, but at the end of the day, this ultimately creates a platform where, where companies thrive and, and do well. So, uh, so this is really, you know, this was a great award to, to, to receive, and obviously uh, each and every one of you are part, part of that. Core values, and, and, and another, another thing we, we you know, core values on display at EXP. I mean, I, I go back to this picture, and this is the one we took uh, early in the year, and we've got the best places to work sort of on the soccer field. But, you know, the fact that we can all sort of show up as avatars somewhere, it's, it's pretty pretty darn cool I and mean, weird, you know? So, <laughs> in fact, maybe, maybe one of our, our, our future sense phrases would be, uh, keep EXP weird, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And there's so many of these core values that are on display here uh, as well. I mean, we, you know, community, whether we're thinking about the world, whether we're thinking about how we're, we're, it, we're, we're here together in, 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 uh, 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 at this event. Uh, ultimately, you know, how we, uh, we're, we're using workplace, uh, you know, how we collaborate is, is pretty amazing. And that builds, uh, builds community. Service, extend a hand, uh, again, was a really uh, a great uh, thing that we've done over the last uh, three months. The money that's been raised, the people that have been helped. Um, you know, the uh, transparency. I mean, think about the way, how transparent we are. I mean, there is not a company out there that's as transparent and as accessible as we are, uh, the reality. Uh, if you have a, a, a concern, I mean, we're all on the same platform. There is, there's not a like anybody who wants to get a hold of me or a member of the board or anybody in the management team or anybody in the company anywhere in any part of the world that we operate in, which obviously United States and Canada. But uh, any place, anybody you want to get a hold of, we are in this really unique ecosystem that is so leverageable and gives us such advantages. Um, integrity, you know, earlier this year we talked about the agent uh, uh, attraction uh, universal pledge. Uh, you know, and, and since that's come out, you know, the, the, uh, the quality of conversations that are taking place out there have so leveled up. It's just been amazing. So, you know, just all these things that we've been doing, and, and of course, agile and fun. Uh, it is, this is an amazing place to, to be. So, uh, we talked a little bit about innovation and agile at scale. You know, um, you know, 2019, in my opinion, really is, is about innovation. Um, 2017, 2018, um, I think really was about building out the platform, and, and there's a there's there's a phrase that uh, we, that I think about quite a bit is is if you've got sort of a stable platform that it creates an opportunity for agility and innovation. So, you know, the, the team you know that that we have at EXP is really just absolutely phenomenal. We have dealt with so much chaos and made it look so non chaotic. <laughs> Uh, and, and yet, there's obviously still lots of things that we need to work on. We just did the uh, uh, NPS survey here uh, a couple of weeks ago. Data's coming out from that. We're going to be going back and, and working on the stuff that was, was themes in there to make sure that we're delivering just an amazing experience. But uh, some of the hashtags that I've been thinking about here for the, for the next year, some of you have seen this in the workplace, you know, to empower. 
you know, ultimately, we want to empower every one of you to make a difference in your communities and, and to make a difference uh, with your families and, and make a difference in the industry. Uh, no agent left behind. This one, you know, how many agents do you know that ultimately join a brokerage that, that just sort of sort of go away because they don't know what to do next? And, and we're all shareholders. We're all part and parcel. Every agent that is in EXP, each one of us is responsible for. And, and think about what that mindset is. So no agent left behind means that if you can help an agent you know, with that you know, conversation, whether it be in a workplace, whether it be in real life, whether it be having coffee, whether it be here at EXPCon or wherever, you know, do that. That's I live for that stuff. In fact, I think it's kind of one of the interesting things that I think uh, sets us apart from from any other brokerage is our willingness to sit down and have conversations when there's no expectation of, of getting something for that, and that really truly sets us apart. Uh, this one, you know, and and, and we've got uh, Rick Miller here uh, on our board. He just came out with a book. Uh, being Chief, uh, which is just a phenomenal book, and one of the things he's talked about is this whole concept of, of cascading sheets, and and so he uh, uh, and and it's really kind of matches up with a lot of stuff that we think about the whole idea. Of how do we work together? How do we get that information to the to the people that can take action on it quickly, uh, who are empowered to to take action? And how do we how do we create this 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 ecosystem, whether it be our, in the, the staff, the leadership, or at the agent base, how do we, how, how can all of us be chiefs in, in, in our organizations as we, as we continue to grow? So, uh, and then the last one I'm going to talk a little bit about is what I'm referring to as optimal future. And optimal future is really, if, if I think about 2009, uh, 2009 was for us really just brainstorming what an optimal future look like. And, and it wasn't that we thought that it could be done, but we thought, what if we just did it anyway? <clears throat> we didn't know if it would work, but we said, why don't we put in the infrastructure to do it anyway and see what happens? And, and some really great magic that comes out of, out of sort of visioning what you think about as your optimal future and then starting to set up your life in such a way that that can actually take place. So, um, you know, and you know, we were crazy enough to think that the optimal future actually included a virtual world. So this is actually a picture of our very first virtual world with lockheads. So we were all a bunch of lockheads. And you know, at that point in time, this you know, this this thing would crash. By the way, once we got up to about twenty people. In, 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 in 20 to 30 people, you know, 35, the thing was definitely dead on arrival. Um, and yet, we did it anyway. We said, you know, if we if we just believe that we can figure it out as we go, as opposed to waiting till everything worked right, uh, that we might we might find that this thing might work out. So uh, uh, a couple of years later, we went to a platform that looked a little bit more like this. And 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 some of you might remember. This particular platform, it crashed when we got to about 110 users. So, so 110 people, and this thing would start to crater. But you know, so what? Let's do it anyway. You know, let's keep on going, keep on going. And of course, our our, our latest version, and, and we've been in, in the world. And what great partners Verbella has been uh, with us. When I, when I hear uh, through the grapevine is that we're blowing, we're, we're pushing this envelope way past things like the, you know, the military will push this platform. And so we're on the bleeding edge of figuring out what a true virtual world looks like at scale. So it's just, a, it's just amazing to see what we've done. And and it's it's weird, I admit. Um, but, you know, nobody talks about normal people. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that you did, and, and, and those are the things that are the 
you know, unique value propositions, the unique uh, ways to sort of think about how we set ourselves apart. We're the goofy people that use avatars to, to, to build a real estate room. That's just plain goofy, you know? So, so it just, uh, it's pretty awesome. So, you know, optimal future 2019 and beyond. And, and certainly this is just, just a quick, you know, throw some stuff here so we can at least think about it. But, you know, and, you know continually in a, continual innovation around the agent value proposition. You know, that's, uh, we are continually innovating, iterating around the agent value proposition. That's, that's what gets me up every day is just thinking about how do we build something that is truly defensible because nobody truly puts the agent as first as we do. That's stuff that we're going to go in 2019. I think you're going to, you're going to hear some things, uh, potentially even today, about how we're going about some of that and, and how we can continue to sort of own, own parts of our future that nobody else can, uh, can take away from us. Um, opportunities for agents, broken staff. As we continue to scale and some of the things that you're going to see, hopefully, uh, over the next few days, weeks, months, um, and, and, and so on, uh, there are going to be opportunities that, that some of us, maybe are myself included, haven't even thought of yet that are going to be opportunities that could be as big or bigger than stuff that we're already doing. So just super excited about what that might be. Obviously, expanding into complementary services, uh, that's a given, something we've talked about for a while. Uh, I think we finally have the bandwidth to actually do that. So, so we're finally at a point where, I, where 2019, you're going to see some of these things come online. And then what a lot of people have been asking about for a long time is 2019, I think is going to be the first year that we truly go outside of North America and start to get So with that, um, just again, just super stoked. Um, you know, I am from the city of some good excitement, so if I don't seem as excited as I'm just so excited about it. Um, um, the other day, this is what happens when you put yourself on, on salary as an agent, so just a, just a little, little thought there, because, you know, when you do that, you start to actually be able to sort of invest in your business in unique and different ways, and uh, and it's just been amazing what we've been able to do over the last uh, nine, nine plus years, so uh, again, thanks again, and... Um, we love you, <laughs>
lot more focused on in 2019, and I'm going to touch on that too. And it is amazing. This company is so agent-focused and agent-oriented, and you all know that I'm an agent too, so I get it. This is amazing to have the amount of support, the amount of services, the amount of tools that we're able to provide for you now. But it's taken some time to get us to the point. So I'm going to go through with you a little bit about what we've done here this year. You all know that, although some of you just joined us today, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. and uh, some of you have been here for a short time. There's been, uh, there's been a road that we've had to follow, a path to get to where we are today. And I want to go through some of the things that we've done and achieved and accomplished for you as a team and as your leadership team, as staff, as employees. We are one giant company, you guys, right? So we, you saw the world and the history and the innovation and everything that we do. We have this amazing ability in our company to cross borders. We don't see them. We're one company, and that's true with our staff as well. So I want to tell you a little bit about what we've done. 2018, we gave our staff the directive uh, in January that 2018 was our year for operational excellence. We were focused internally. In order to get what we need to provide you to be successful in your business, we kind of had to lay the groundwork in a true foundation to be able to be sustainable and to scale this company across all of the states and, you know, like Glenn said, continents that we're headed towards, right? So we are internally focused this year, and I think you've seen some of that in what we've been able to do for you. We've actually created uh, systems and processes and procedures. We got the new ICA out for you. We've gotten an amazing brokerage staff, which you're going to uh, be able to meet here in, in a little bit. Um, we've put structure in place for how you get help, where you go, answers that you uh, can look for, how to help each other with FAQs. We've got workplace in place for communications. We are right now almost at 300 employees for you. How awesome is that? 14,000 agents, 300 employees. Let me give you um, some comparisons on what that means for you. So there's other companies in our industry, right, who have 14,000 agents and like 800 employees. Is that good as a shareholder? No. <laughs> We're very efficient here. We have the ability to help you almost 24 hours a day, and we're getting to that point, you guys, where we're going to have help in the world for you 24 hours a day. We're looking to add expenses that we don't need to. We're looking to add the efficiencies in place so you can do your job faster and better for your clients. We've created what I like to call, we, have, we say this a lot in our staff meetings, in our leadership meetings, uh, we have departments, not compartments. So all of our departments work together. There is not one thing that we do here that we don't think first, how is that going to affect brokerage? How is that going to affect marketing? How is that going to affect onboarding? How is that going to affect you and your brokers and your ASCBs and your recs and everybody who's out there helping? So we departmentalize, not compartmentalize. We're a team working for you. We've got our policies in place and, of course, like I said earlier, the efficiencies that allow us to do what we can do faster for you to get you out there representing your client. That's been our focus for 2018. It is no easy task. Because um, many of you who come to the Friday leadership meetings, you, you, you've heard, uh, and Mike Vane, those of you who haven't met Mike Vane, what you experience, um, he's come in and he, he used a phrase that I've just stolen from him, I'm giving him credit, but um, he can't believe how this company is so incredible, but we are actually laying the tracks while the train is moving, right? It's fast. We got to get those tracks down, and that's what we're doing. And that's why we put these efficiencies in place, and that's why we have focused internally. So hopefully, you're all seeing the results of what we've been able to do this year. We're going to continue to do it. It never ends. But this year was our operational excellence, which allows us to do what we've chosen for next year as our focus, which is agent-focused service and development. More tools for you. You've had a really great opportunity all uh, yesterday and today and tomorrow to tell us more of what you're looking for, what you need to be better in your business. We are providing you much more support. Uh, Kimberly is going to give you a little overview of our new docent program and our concierges and uh, our Explore EXP guide. How many of you have seen that? 
to accomplish what others are too afraid to do. And every one of you has that opportunity in this room as well. So make sure that you're having fun doing it because it's an awesome ride. It's been great so far. We talk about the rocket ship all of the time, but it truly is. It's an awesome ride. So I want you to have fun accomplishing what everyone else in this industry is too afraid to do. All right, so a little bit later, what do you think? Yeah, yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. This is crazy. This is UK. 
can't see this up here, but there are, uh, there are these dots on there, and I feel like I feel this need to follow them. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to boldly go somewhere if I get to the end. Um, hopefully not on the stage. I think Mitch does that. So apparently we're running a little bit behind, and how many people have heard me on Fridays? <laughs> apparently. Mitch is like, you know, Mary Frances says size matters. Mitch is like, yeah, size matters. Cut it down. So, uh, I will do my best to try to keep this brief. Um, there's a lot going on. There's always a lot going on, right? Um, we're doing all kinds of weird stuff with Glenn's Dead, which uh, is so much fun. We've all been talking about a lot of the same themes. And, you know, one, one of the amazing things I'll tell you, um, None of us prepared our sessions, presentations, or anything together. And what it, it always amazes me how in sync all of us are when we get up here. I, 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 I don't know how we do it, but it's like this mind melt thing. So I'm going to talk a little bit uh, about where we're boldly trying to go. But I'm going to first talk about, as everybody else has, um, how we got to where we are, right? And I'll, I'm going to, again, I promise I'm going to try to convince, honestly, Mitch, I'm going to try to convince this. I'm literally, I'll just skip through a bunch of slides if I have. There's only 36 slides. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but seriously, as we've, as we've been working through this past year, we really have been heads down, focusing so much of our energy on the business, right? Inside, working day in and day out on the things that provide that stable foundation. And if anybody was at shareholders in, uh, what was it, April, um, lots of you were probably there. If you remember, we talked a whole lot about this building a solid foundation. And as Mary Frances mentioned, operational excellence, right? Our focus so far has been about this stuff related to structure and systems and processes and we've started to set goals and accountabilities for people and try to get us to a place where we have reliability in our systems, right? And you're thinking, what the heck does all this have to do with technology? Well, frankly, it has everything to do with technology, right? We've been building out teams and we've been building out organizations and we've been building out all of the people and the brain power and all of that stuff. And to build great technology, you have to have these things in place. You have to have structure and accountability and reliability and all this stuff. And now we've actually started, and I've talked to a lot of you about innovation teams, but that's what we're putting in place. As we've started to do over the past couple of months is put these high performance teams in place, small teams, people that can get together. And again, technology, yeah, wonderful stuff, but if you don't have the right people behind it, if you don't have the right structure, if you don't have the right mindset behind it, it doesn't matter what the technology is, you're probably going to get it wrong, right? So all this stuff had to come before. And what we've been working on with these teams is to get people into that mindset of, of that accountability and ownership to start to deliver. And what we've really started to build now is this culture of, of innovation, not just within the organization, but holy cow, I've talked to probably two to three hundred of you so far, which is why my voice is a little hoarse, apologies. Um, probably two to three hundred of you so far, and the conference literally just started, but yesterday was crazy, right? And there are so many of you out there, everybody embraces this culture of innovation. And as Glenn said earlier, again, the weirdness, right? The fact is, we don't, we're a whole group of people that don't think necessarily the way that others think. That's why we're all here, because we try to create this innovative environment to change the way that every one of our lives is, that the people around us live. We're trying to change things. And when you change, you need innovators. You need people to embrace that. And that's really what, while we're building out all the systems and infrastructure and everything else behind the scenes, what we've really been trying to build is this environment that enables that culture of innovation. What that means for us is we've also been able to deliver a whole bunch of stuff, right? And I'm not gonna bore you with all kinds of details about stuff. Because we're going to get a chance tomorrow to talk and listen even about the various things that you want to see. But just a few things that we've done this past year, right? Facebook Workplace, huge, right? How many of you love to see the show of hands? How many of you are in Facebook Workplace every day? Woo! Yeah. 
I mean, it's a massive, I mean, we are literally, from an, an organizational perspective, I, I honestly believe we're probably one of the largest organizations that pushes the limits on, on workplace. And what it's created for us is that environment of accountability. Oh, by the way, EXP World as well. We've done so much with that, and everybody has seen the, 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 the transformation over time of what we've been able to accomplish there. Um, we've been doing all kinds of integrations behind the scenes. EXP Passport, we're pulling in MLS data, we've been doing integrations with Skysoft, so all this sort of stuff, right? These are the systems and processes and procedures and, and technologies that need to be in place just to make the business work, but man, it sucks when none of this stuff is integrated. So, by the way, I hope you've seen a whole lot of progress on that front, right? Passport has made a big difference, right? But, I mean, agents, I, I ask this all the time, how many systems are you working with? And it never ceases to amaze me. Five, six, seven, eight, twelve systems on a daily basis that people have to work in. How do we make that smoother and more integrated? And then a lot of the back office stuff. I heard the greatest comment yesterday, I could have just walked out of here and been absolutely happy with life. Somebody had said to me, hey, when I'm depressed, I just look at EXP Enterprise and look at my revenue share dashboard. <laughs> 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 Focusing a whole lot of energy on that, um, and there's still a whole lot more to come. <coughs> We're going to say this a lot, you're going to hear this a lot over the next couple days. Um, 2019 is all about you. We are going to be relentlessly focused on what do you need, what are the things we can do for you, what are the tools and technology, right? It's not about the business anymore, it's about you. So for all of you, what I want to hear tomorrow, we've got a session that we literally, I might stand up on stage, but what I really want is people with microphones talking to us, telling us, tell us what you need, tell us what you want, tell us the things that you believe are necessary to help you run a better business on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're going to be doing stuff around the consumer experience. We'll be doing stuff around mobile productivity. How many of you spend most of your time mobile? Come on, it's got to be more than that, right? Well, like, literally, I, can, I, I, was, I set my phone down back there because I didn't want it in my pocket, and it's literally going off right now. And I'm like, oh, no, no, I, I can't. Leave, I just can't leave it behind. I had to bring it. It's like my security blanket. Right? All of us are like that. So we're going to be focusing a whole lot on mobile uh, lead generation. It's a topic that a whole lot of people really like to discuss. So we're going to be doing some of that stuff, and I can't wait to hear the things that you want. And Hey, um, did anybody see the press release this morning? <laughs> if you didn't, um, hey, Sean, is uh, Sean Thomas here? Someone? Sean? Sean, let me introduce you to 2,000 of my closest friends. Yes, <laughs> So, Sean, you were an agent, right? Yes, I am. Okay, and, uh, you built this this little app called Show Me Now. This little app, yes, called yeah. Show Me Now. Hey, by the way, you nervous? Thanks, Tom. You ever been Just a little bit. Okay, <laughs> it's all right. You're doing great. You just stop talking. No, no, no. We're going to keep asking your questions. So we put out this little announcement today. Um, so we uh, we have entered into an agreement to acquire the assets uh, from Sean of this application called Show Me Now. For all of you. Oh. <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. It's been, uh, this has been literally uh, more than a year in the making. <laughs> my first week, my first week with the company, this guy comes up to me at the first shareholder event that I, literally I had just started the week before, and he comes up to me and he says, I hear you're the guy you got to talk to. I'm like, oh, I'm like a week in this company. What the heck do you have? And relentless, relentless. It's been uh, a, over a year in the making, but I will tell you, I am. I couldn't be more excited about what we've got in store. Um, why don't you just give a really quick? What is Show Me Now? Um, it is something that I looked at to develop for a need in the industry as an agent. So I took my tech background um, and.
basically put together a mobile app, mobile technology. That's the future. That's where we're all headed. And pretty much that's it. Well, you really sold it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did we really put that press release out there? <laughs> <laughs> Show me now. Think of it like this, right? As a, if you if you're out there trying to to win a listing, and you've got the opportunity to differentiate yourself, wouldn't it be amazing if you could say to a potential seller that, hey, I've got this technology that nobody else has. That I can put a sign rider on your on your property, and I can guarantee that somebody is going to be there to show that property within 20 minutes, right? Absolutely. Right? Is that kind of what it is? And so you put it out there for all of you, right? We're, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're, we're wrapping this thing up. We are about to start the process of identifying our first beta markets. We're probably going to hit maybe five markets. Um, there's, there's a whole lot of people that are going to have All you. All you can find me. I hear it everywhere. So, um, this week, the next day and a half, I can't wait to hear every one of you give us your pitch on why your market is the market, because we're going to start hitting this stuff out of the park at the beginning of the year, and right now we're lining everything up. So, I'm, I couldn't even be more excited about this for this guy, I can't be more excited about it for all of you, and by the way, this is just the start of what we're doing from a mobile perspective because it's all about you, it's all about every single day, the things that you do to go out there while you're mobile, everywhere you are. So, I, I'm at, I've got three minutes left and I'm gonna walk off stage, but I'm gonna let you, kidding. <laughs> all of you, I would love to help explain what show me now is, please can find the club. Be back here at 10.45, we will see you then.